In planning and design exercises, you get a chance to provide solutions to scientific problems using the scientific method. As a result, it is considered to be one of the most exciting skills that you will have to learn because it takes you to the heart of what solving scientific problems is all about. In a planning and designing exercise, you will not be asked to carry out the investigation. All you are doing is planning it. It should be written in such a way, however, that at the end of your plan, I or anyone else should be able to use it to carry out the investigation. Your teacher will start by giving you a scientific problem. A typical problem is given below. Scenario. Marcia had always heard nutritionists on television say that heat from cooking destroys the vitamin C in fresh fruits and fruit juices. Design an experiment to test your own hypothesis as to the effect of heat on the vitamin C content of a named source of vitamin C. The first thing that you have to do is to come up with a hypothesis for the problem that has been given. In very simple terms, a hypothesis is an educated guess. It is a statement that basically states the solution to the problem and draws upon your prior knowledge and experience. It usually states the relationship that exists between the variables as identified in the problem given. It is also very important that your hypothesis be written in such a way that it can be tested. We say that it must be testable. Here is an example of a hypothesis for the problem given. Vitamin C content is decreased by treatment with heat. You will notice that this hypothesis can be tested. You could, if you wanted to, investigate if the vitamin C content of juices decreases as the temperature increases. The next step in planning and designing is to write your aim. This must be related to your hypothesis. Aim to investigate the effect of heat on the vitamin C content of vitamin C tablets. It is necessary for you now to list all of the apparatus and materials that you will need to test your hypothesis. Apparatus, Bunsen burner, tripod and wire gauze, three conical flasks, two beakers, funnel, measuring cylinder, 50 cubic centimeter burette, 20 cubic centimeter pipette, retort stand, burette clamp, dropper. Materials, starch, vitamin C solution made from vitamin C tablets, 0 0.03 molar iodine. The next step is to write the method. This should be written in the present tense since the investigation has not yet been carried out. You are not to use pronouns and it should be written in a logical sequence with all the steps required to carry out the investigation. Here is a typical method for the problem that is given. Using a measuring cylinder, Divide the solution of vitamin C into two equal portions and place in two 250 cubic centimeter beakers. Label one beaker A and the other B. Cover beaker B with a watch glass and heat the solution for seven minutes and allow to cool to room temperature. Using the funnel, Fill the burette to just below the zero mark with the iodine solution and record the burette reading. Using a pipette, measure 20 cubic centimeters of the vitamin C solution from beaker A into a conical flask. And add six drops of starch to the flask. Titrate with iodine solution until a blue-black color is just obtained. Record the final burette reading and calculate the volume of iodine used. Repeat steps 3 to 5 until concordant readings are obtained. 
Repeat steps 3 to 5 using the vitamin C solution that was heated and cooled from Beaker B. Beaker B.